Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Gear Guns Tank Offensive. Now, I don't know if I can use anything other than keyboard and mouse, so I guess I'm going to keep to that for the time being. But, I saw a gif of this on uh, r slash r slash indie gaming, and it was a tank dropping out of a plane and then blowing up alien mechs. Looked cool, so I'm going to give it a go. Start demo. Uh, as far as I can tell, this game is made by a Russian group of developers, and you're a tank, and you're fighting aliens. That, that's about it. Satellites detected alien I'm gonna skip this, I don't care about plot stuff. I care about plot stuff, I'll do plot stuff, but for now, let's just... Uh, am I, like, backwards? Is that... Oh, I was backwards. Okay, so there's... Is that, like, a dying alien there? I have... Okay. How do you... Okay. What the... What? Why did it... Why am I... How the... What? Okay, is there, like, control... Ah, here we go. Options. Nope. Not options. Uh... Uh... I'm gonna presume all of those are correct. Okay. Transmission back forward, left control, forward back shift. Change weapons, mouse scroll. Okay. So that's how you that's how you switch. Oh shit! There's like actually an alien underneath. Okay, so you switch weapons. I have a flamethrower, cannons, machine gun. Okay, so pretty basic then. Makes sense. Let's just switch with the basic cannon. I don't even know where I'm going. Um, I'm gonna assume the enemy's gate is down and head that direction. I'm used to these game bringing me in the direction of. Oh hey, I can just roll straight over trees. Oh man. Oh shoot, what was the game? Was it Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, Grand Theft Auto always messes with my head. What with the invincible goddamn trees? Let's see if... Uh, well, looks like the oil tanker is invincible. And my shots even go through it. I don't, but my shots do. Goody. Alright, whatever. Uh, music ain't bad. Visuals are pretty nice. The controls are wonky as hell, though. Like... I don't know. It's... What is this? Oh. It's like a HP boost plus that. Okay. <laughs> oh man, ragdoll physics plus alien mech critters. That's pretty great. I'm taking damage here, aren't I? Alright, let's uh, use his flamethrowers instead. Okay, bullet's dead now. I'm not confident in my ability to do these things, but I mean, it looks like I'm barely even going to take damage here. Okay, well. Let's slowly back this thing up and keep backing up until I'm in a right proper location. Oh, Jeez, yeah. that Burn thing is... Shit. That thing is big. I'm not going to be able to fight that. Well, that's okay. I'm not expecting to either. So one thing I don't like about this game is I'm not really aiming where my reticle is going. There's obviously, like, minimum, uh, minimums and maximums. I can't even roll through that. Good. Alright, uh, you know, there's obviously, like, a limit on how far I can aim down, which, I mean, makes sense, but it feels artificially low, because I know tanks can shoot generally lower? I don't know. Uh, really, it just feels kind of clunky. Okay, let's switch to the flamethrowers before these things get too huggy. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. So, I, I think if the controls weren't so, like, weird, maybe not weird, it's just slow? Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. I think if the controls were faster, because, I mean, I played the original Halo game, uh, keyboard and mouse, and that fa felt fantastic rolling around in a scorpion, more or less doing whatever the hell I wanted. It was great. And that was all just tied to keyboard and mouse. Okay, there we go. Wondering where these guys were coming from. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get over there conventionally. Can I just drive through the electrical tower? Probably. I don't know. Uh, but it does feel like there's kind of a limited... Not limited consequence here, obviously I'm taking damage, but... Oops, don't do that. Don't press shift. That's how you end up not being able to go places. I'm... at a loss for... Hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to go this way towards the horrifyingly large robot monstrosity. And all the enemies spawn from the other side of it, but invisible walls are making that really hard. Okay, the... I, I'm going into this, like, with kind of the idea of, like, gotta be positive, because it looks great. Uh, the voice acting's freaking terrible, but, I mean, 
what's new, pussycat? Uh, huh. So let's try driving straight through the gas station. Maybe this will lead me to justice or more invisible walls. Um, I made no noises as I drove through it. This, okay. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, uh, one thing that I like about most video games is they kind of give you basic visual cues about where you're supposed to go. This one, no. <laughs> Good luck. Traverse a maze of invisible walls and random walls. Random actual walls. I'm not taking damage from anything. It's weird. I'm kind of confused on that bit, honestly. Oh, well. I love the ragdolls as the alien mechs get blown up. I do hope that there's more than one type. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. It probably uses, like, a bunch of generic, like, stock models and stuff. Which is probably okay. God, that voice acting is atrocious. Yeah, the, the ragdolls is everything just goes, like... Uh, I'm... Jeez, it takes forever for this thing... It takes forever for this thing to s slow down and turn back around. Okay. Um... I, yeah, I love it. I love how the things flip around as they take damage. Obviously, eventually, I'm probably gonna get hung up on something, which is probably gonna suck. But eh, whatever. I'm okay with that. You know what? We're probably hitting for that big red ring of death, and not for the. Um, we're heading for the big red ring of death, and not for the other the uh, the mech over on the left. I have not taken damage in a long time. Oh, there we go. Felt like a lot of the attacks were like hitting my top, but they weren't hitting like my damage threshold, my damageable hitbox. I'm not entirely sure. That thing is terrifying. I do, I do appreciate the giant mech in the background. I just wish it actually meant something. Well, I'm just gonna go this way, assuming nothing else. I don't know. The skybox in this is a little bit. Meh. I wonder if I can just roll over these guys. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep spawning them, I guess. Which is probably a bad move, but whatever. Yep, I have spawned several groups here. I can't tell what's going on. Oh, wait. No, this is actually a good thing. Come on, keep going up that hill. Otherwise, things are start going to start getting hairy. Maybe? Can't really tell. I only take damage from, like, half of these shots, which is weird. Interestingly enough, my... Uh, Oh, am I, like, shooting their own their shots out of the sky? Oh, I should probably keep moving. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to hit these, am I? Alright. Is that... That's a dying mech. If that means anything. Probably not. Uh, turning on this is... Leaves something to be desired. Oh, well. <laughs> ah! Well, I guess we've got some roadkill. Hi! Uh... Was not expecting you here. Or you, or whatever. Okay. Turns out just driving randomly through the wilderness spawns aliens. I don't know, man. I want to like this, but it feels like it's so very early alpha it needs work. The enemies that teleport in you, in directly on top of you constantly. Oh man, that is not good design from my, from my perspective. Now, if I just hold left, will the tank slowly turn? It will slowly turn on a dime, but it's not fast enough. Okay, so let's keep heading for that light and see what happens. I know there's a mini boss that you can fight along the way here too. Ugh. Um, but I, I really feel like, oh god, oh it's like a it's like a turbine grinder looking thing. Okay, I was like, is that just, like, messed up textures? And the answer is no. Did I just... I just ran over nothing. Weird. Alright. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Come on. The hell's with all these teleporting mechs? What the... Am I still running over, like... The, yeah, I am. I'm still running over the same structures and stuff. Okay, you know what? Let's switch to the machine gun. The tank is great because it sends things flying, but the, I mean, obviously, you gotta wait, wait for it to reload, which is not doing us a whole lot of favors here. They also had some pretty good music that has almost completely stopped. What? Are you serious? Wow. This just feels kind of cheap. I don't know. Okay, we should probably back up and stuff. I 
Just you get to you get to a point and yeah, it's it's trying to like spawn waves of enemies at you. Um, I'm gonna say not unlike Serious Sam, which I mean really isn't a bad comparison to make. The problem is they're spawning directly on my head, and because of the way like turning works in this game, I wonder if I can like boost the sensitivity. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh great, there's only one volume slider. Ah, whatever. That doesn't surprise me that much. So I guess we're not going for the red light. Uh, are we going that way? Nope. I guess we're going down this direction. These buses are probably, uh, invisible walls as well, or I guess visible, unmovable walls. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's back off. The alien deaths via machine gun are just super lackluster. It's kind of sad. Yeah, and I can shoot their shots out of the, out of the sky, which is useful, but still. Here's the question. Please tell me I can drive through this building. Please tell me I can drive through this building. Come on. Uh, well, I ain't no omnibus. That's for certain. All right. Well, let's keep going this direction. And let's see. Maybe I am going for that big thing after all. I thought I was going for the uh, red ring, red whatever of death, but it looks like that's false too. I don't know. I'm having a hard time staying truly positive about this just because it's like the, the experience is wildly inconsistent. Like, it feels like it's open world, but it's not. At this point, once again, I've, I'm trying to struggle with the, like, basic level design mentality here. It's like, well, do we go left? Do we go right? I have no idea. The music is turned on once again. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah! burn shit! Burn! I really hate that voice actor. Oh, well, there goes that tent, I guess. It just kind of casually went down like it was normal. Okay, so the shielded guys, I guess you're supposed to use other things on? Yeah, probably. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of healing around. Let's make sure nobody else spawns on my face, even though that's inevitably going to happen once again. I don't know. For a second, I thought that was a boat just sitting around in the sky, and I was confused and a bit upset. That's okay. Oh, man. Yeah, being on, e on uneven surfaces is bad. This thing does not shoot low. It really does not. So yeah, th this is the classic, this is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a classic um, mismatch of like artistic and visual, like style, quality, whatever. Even though a lot of this is probably just like generic stock models. Uh, it still looks nice and it's put together well. Uh, but the actual like game design and stuff feels like there wasn't a whole lot of thought put into it. I mean, the enemies are the same over and over and over again with pretty much just two varieties here. I can't hit this guy. There we go. Um, you know, there's... The level itself is... I mean, this is, like, not even s sniper elite levels of, like, where do we go next invisible wall corralling. This is, like... This is... Pretty low caliber. Which sucks. But, eh, we'll get through it. I want to get to the first mini-boss. We might not make it, though. I don't know. Damn, damn, that thing looks cool. Like, that's the problem. So much of this looks cool, and I want, to, I want to appreciate it, but, oh, God. Did you see that? I went through the ambulance. And I didn't send it into, like, a, a spray of debris and stuff. No. I just kind of phased through it because the game couldn't handle the collision. Eh. I mean, collisions are hard. They really used a text-to-speech generator. Hey! I actually can't tell if that's text-to-speech or just really bad voice acting. What the? What? What the? It, it, what? What was that? It just put me into the options for some reason. Okay. I don't understand it. Now. Alright. Huh. I, I don't have words. Oh, I guess we get to drive on the battle, the now beach battleship. And that alien has. Damn. What a masses over here. God, the voice acting is bad. Like, honestly, I would rather just have, like, a portrait pop up and hello. I can't aim. I just realized I can't aim up or down. All I do is just bring the camera left and. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I can't, I can't aim this barrel up at... Oh, I, I can. It's just so limited in, in the, like... Oh, man. I have maybe, a, like, a 15 degree window in which I can aim up and down here. I now also have a piece of alien worm uh, stuck to my tank. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it, this is a sign of decoration, and I'm just gonna shoot this thing a bunch. I've given up, I think, just a little bit here. Is it gone? Nope. It is not gone yet. And it's gone. Well, let's just wait for it to pop back in again, then we'll shoot it, I guess. There it is. You wanna come down, seeing as I can't freaking shoot up? It's, like, a bit of a curse here, honestly. Well. Exciting. The, uh... I, the, you know what this game feels like? It feels like a platformer. You know those platformers where you, like, you move the screen away and the enemies pop in? And the enemies are just, like, constantly doing, like, an attack pattern in an area? Infinitely? Because that's all they're programmed to do? That's what this feels like. There's no AI, it's just a bunch of obstacles. Which I guess really is fine. What? Okay. One wonder bar. Uh Yeah. Don't know about some of this. I should probably back up. But it probably doesn't matter. Ooh, it is hard to stay positive after a while about things. This game is very pretty. Freaking Nalians! Freaking Damn. That was... glorious, I guess. Alright, so, yep, there they pop in. Wondering Holy when that was gonna happen. Holy shit, more enemies. I don't know, man. And woman. Well, I don't know, people. I guess we're going to Funland. Do you guys want to go to Funland? At this point, I'm not sure I want to go to Funland. I'm not even sure if I want to be in in land at all. It. I don't. Oh wait, no, never mind. We don't want to be in the sky either. I just saw one of those like weird kind of flat texture planes in the background get blown up into a pile of scrap metal looking stuff. I don't... You know, there's such a thing as a threatening enemy, and then there's another thing as a... Bleh! Bleh! Uh, <laughs> why? Like, it would be cool if it was rolling all over the place, but I wouldn't be able to fight it. So instead, it's just... Okay. Hello, sky-based teleporting, uh, worm... bits. You are the greatest threat to humanity the world has ever known. Seriously, if one tank is enough to deal with all this, then humanity's... Humanity's screwed, let's be honest here. Like, pack it in, boys. Both us and these aliens do not belong in this planet. We'll just leave it to the... Ah. We'll just leave it to the Ferris wheel. It seems to be holding up better than most things. This does not feel good. This doesn't feel good at all. You know what this reminds me of? Game-wise? This reminds me of Cradle. That, like, story-based game where all you had to do was, like, go into, like, weird box puzzles and stuff. And so, like, it looked great. It looked gorgeous. But hot damn, was it not a game. This? Not a game either. I'm just gonna shoot it. I can't. I can't shoot it. You can't aim this chain gun up. Wow! Oh, I mean, it makes sense. It's chained to the side of the tank. But... Man. Like, if you're gonna be this restrictive to my ability to aim up or down, please, for the love of God, make it so all the enemies are also... They're behind me. Please, for the love of God... Oh, the enemies have homing, homing missiles. Just what every alien needs. Weirdly enough, those homing missiles don't fucking do damage. Weird, huh? Where's the where'd the aliens go? Did they just like 
Nope, they're there. Never mind. Fabulous. Fabulous. I don't think we're going to Funland after all. Sorry. I don't think that worm's going to Funland either. I kind of want to just bum rush this and see if we'll be okay. Those bottle parts are still going. Just so you know. Yep, there they are again. Oh yeah, burn shit, burn. Yep, I just took several direct hits. Meant nothing. Continues to mean nothing. I really, I honestly, I, I give up. I wanted to make it to the first mini boss. I don't think I can. I really want to like this game, but I just, I honestly can't. It's gorgeous. I'll come back later if they actually add more to the game. But if this is what gameplay is, then I, I can't stay interested in it, no matter what. Uh, <laughs> why? Oh, uh, Funland, why can't I go to you? You seem way, way more interesting than this. Let me guess, Invisible Wall? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. The height of gameplay, folks. Tanks. Iron rot fences. Who will win? The fence. Duh. Okay. Yeah. Not. I can't bring myself to do any more of this. I really, honestly can't. So, if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, please tell me if it's actually playable beforehand. Because <laughs> hot damn, this is uh not fun. Not fun at all. And it's not even, like, bad. It's just not. I'm bored. I think it just got killed by the Iron Rot Fence, but I'm really having a hard time telling. I liked the Ragdolls at first, too. Now they're just kind of stupid. I think that kind of sum summates my entire experience here. You know what? I'm just going to say fuck it. Let's go places. Where the hell am I going? I guess to this gazebo gate thing? No. The gazebo is also invincible. Pardon me, I thought it would be interesting this direction. Turns out that was also a lie. This entire experience is a lie. Maybe we go through that, like, busted looking area. Please tell me. I just, I want to experience something. I'm holding on hope. And I'm getting nothing, and this is also going to be an invisible wall. Where the devil do I go? I guess we're going back to Funland after all. So what was the point of going this direction again? Oh right, bypassing that fence. Fabulous. I'm now pushing along a car. Well, I guess somebody gets to go on vacation. You're burning corpse. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens when I die. You know, I'm mildly curious about whether or not one of those worms could even kill me. Let's test that if we can. Oh, wait. Alright. Fuck it. I'm done. If you want to see more Indie Impressions videos, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Damn. This was a hot mess.